Good morning and welcome to Every Mile. Today we are in my hometown of San Bernardino, California, visiting the historical site of the first McDonald's. Now this is not the same building that was here, but it is the location that the first McDonald's was located. Now the first McDonald's was opened by two brothers, uh, Mac and Dick McDonald. It started off as a barbecue restaurant here in San Bernardino. It actually started way out of town and then they moved into San Bernardino. And, but when it started in San Bernardino as a barbecue restaurant, they realized that their best seller were their hamburgers. And so they decided to close up shop and open up a new restaurant called McDonald's that sold just hamburgers and shakes and fries. And those. one of the coolest things about this museum is the outside of it. So before you even go inside of the museum, take an opportunity to walk around and look at this mural. It's literally the most detailed mural you will ever see. The front of the building will show the history of McDonald's uh, here in San Bernardino, what the original building looked like. There's little hidden details like this. One thing people don't realize is that the Rolling Stones' uh, first United States appearance was here in San Bernardino. There's a whole history behind it that's kind of cool, but at the Swing Auditorium here in San Bernardino, they performed. There's a whole lot more on this side that's Route 66 through LA, California, area all the way from Santa Monica kind of coming this way through San Bernardino all the way to Needles on the far end and on this side is more specifically the history of San Bernardino that sections on the California theater with uh, Will Rogers the Herb Brothers Neil Baker, the founder of Baker's drive through restaurant. It also gives a list of some of the artists that performed at the uh, Swing Auditorium here in San Bernardino, which included Jimi Hendrix, the Rolling Stones, Fleetwood Mac, Birds, Bob Seger, BB King, and etc. Now, just to specify, they don't sell food here anymore. It is just a museum, but. It's super cool to come visit. Some original flooring from the original McDonald's. Now for kids of my generation, everybody remembers how cool it was to be able to go to McDonald's and get the toy or whatever the latest movie was that was coming out from whether it was Muppets or Transformers or whatever it was. Here they have a huge display of all those different toys that you can get. Did you know that Grimace started out as a bad guy? This is the evil Grimace. Kid, one of my mom's friends would pick me up like once a week um, and take me to McDonald's. One, to give my mom a break, and two, just to give me a, a good, fun time. And so I used to get a Happy Meal about once a week. So I had a lot of these toys. And so looking at them is very nostalgic for me. If you don't know the story of the McDonald's, the first McDonald's here in San Bernardino, the history of it, check out this movie right here. The founder was Michael Keaton. Amazing movie. Uh, really gives you an idea of what took place here in San Bernardino 
uh, and kind of the history of the McDonald's and how it got started. All this stuff is uh, props from the movie The Founder uh, that they have here on display. Are these fish fries? Yep. Another cool rides on display. There's the original menu back when it was a barbecue stand. Now, all of these toys were donated by people from all over the world uh, that have had them over the years. And so those that have donated have their pictures posted. Oh, it's so weird seeing this again. What do you think of this place? It's amazing. Like how the toys used to look like. Would you recommend it to your friends? Yep. Montana Max and Margaret and Ducky Duck. Yeah. Now behind me, uh, kind of behind the museum itself, is the only standing uh, original part of the original restaurant. These buildings right here were the offices of the Mac Brothers, or excuse me, the McDonald's Brothers, uh, Mac and, and Dick. Behind the building, they have a replica of the Mystery Machine, along with more of the mural to check out. Thank you for coming with us on this adventure, and we will catch you next time. Bye!